Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. Now, when you hear the beginning of how I'm about to describe this, don't think, oh God, that's a bit cold and switch off. Um, it's just, I've got no other way of describing it. Uh, and what we have, though, is, here we go, a statistician. And I can hear the zzzz already as people are falling asleep. It's one of the UK's leading statisticians. His name is David Spiegelhalter. It's a fantastic name, isn't it? Uh, anyway, he has said that uh, the, the, the SNP's claims that they sort of performed better during the COVID crisis than England did is a load of dingo's kidneys. He's dismissing it and he's saying it is obviously not true. And that in fact, Scotland did everything far worse than England. But then, of course, you had that woman in charge who wasn't doing anything based on any kind of science or anything that was actually helping the situation. She was merely doing things that were different further, faster, higher, fa you know, better, because she needed to be different. She was politicising people's deaths. So we'll take a look at this and show why, once again, Nicola Sturgeon is very much undeserving of any praise and more deserving, I think, of a sell. Here goes. So Academic dismisses the SNP COVID claim that Scotland performed better during the pandemic than England. It was all a load of rubbish. This claim is completely BS, isn't it? Professor David Spiegelhalter is one of the UK's leading statisticians and said Scotland's death rate during COVID was worse than England's. That's because she was locking things down and then putting people with infections, allegedly putting people with infections into old people's homes deliberately to knock them all out so she could hopefully push for uh, independence, allegedly. Uh, anyway, a leading academic has dismissed SNP claims that Scotland performed better in terms of deaths during the COVID pandemic than the rest of the UK. It has become a popular nationalist trope to say Nicola Sturgeon kept more people safe than Boris Johnson throughout the crisis. And this is not actually the case, is it? Uh, you, this, is only, it's, this only exists because they lied about it and said it, but it's plainly untrue. But they knew it was untrue, but they, they still lied because it's the SNP. We know that's what they do. Uh, it has been questioned by statist statistician Professor David Spiegelhalter from the University of Cambridge, the chair of the Winton Centre for Risk and Evidence Communication in the Centre for Mathematical Sciences at Cambridge, reckons Scotland's death rate was statistically actually worse than England's in the period from 20 to 22. We know this. We can see this just by the number of people dying as a percentage of the population. Of course it was higher. In England, they weren't taking people with uh, COVID and putting them into old people's homes deliberately. Speaking on the BBC Radio 4 Today pro podcast last week, Professor Spiegelhalter was interviewed by host Nick Robinson and Amal Rajan. Robinson said he had become very fashionable to say that Boris Johnson was shambolic and that Nicola Sturgeon was given the sort of lead that he really should have. He went on to ask Professor Spiegelhalter, does the data suggest that Scottish death rates were any better than the death rates in England? And he responded, no. Scotland did overall worse than England when we look over the whole pandemic. And the Scottish Express asked Professor Spiegelhalter what that was based on. And he said, although Scotland had a lower rate in terms of death certificates with COVID as a cause, the country recorded a higher proportion of age-adjusted excess deaths. We previously reported that one study confirmed Scotland had a higher rate of excess deaths, while another report given to us by Professor Spiegelhalter suggested Scotland recorded excess deaths in nearly 67% of weeks between June 2021 and July 2022, compared to 54% in England. 13% more deaths. 13% worse, Nicola Sturgeon. Speaking on the podcast, Professor Spiegelhalter said suggestions the UK had the highest death rate in Europe were false. He added it shows it's not simple to relate leadership, uh, relate that to leadership and what is done with overall death rates. He says there's so many different factors that influenced how COVID went through a country. It is not straightforward at all to make a direct relationship between policies and the number of deaths. Well, not generally, you'd think. But when one of the policies, of course, is let's put untested people with probably COVID into 
uh, nursing homes and old people's homes where they're more vulnerable to infection anyway, but also more vulnerable to voting unionist. Uh, and they did that as a policy. Then it's hard to take away the fact that decisions by leaders certainly did have a major influence on death rates. Uh, anyway, he said people have tried this all the time to estimate, well, what's the effect of bringing in mask mandates and blah, blah, blah. He said, and actually, I don't think it's feasible to do that from a purely statistical basis. In other words, what he's saying is statistically, the masks really made no difference. He couldn't statistically point to masks making a difference. And of course, the reason for that is that those masks were useless. They weren't PPE. They were just little bits of paper that you held up against your mouth effectively. The viruses would still go through them. It's like trying to stop a swarm of bees with a chain link fence. And indeed, most of what they did uh, has subsequently been proven that it was ineffective. Not saying it was all bad, but just simple, some of the precautions they rushed into because they thought in their minds as non-scientists that it would help, didn't. And that's actually been proven. Uh, I'm not saying that everything was like that. Of course, some things probably did help. And certainly distancing uh, is, is probably the biggest help. There's no doubt about that. But you see that in any sort of um, epidemiological study that distance decreases transmission. But that's just sense, isn't it? That's just common sense. But those masks... You know, they weren't um, they weren't PPE. They were just bits of cottony paper, you know, nothing there. Uh, anyway, he said this. He He's agreed that uh, Scotland did worse under her than England did under Boris. And Boris is a buffoon. So how bad must she be? Well, we know she's awful, but she wasn't doing anything to do uh, to save people. It was all political. It was all me, me, me. Independence, independence, independence. We've got to be different. We've got to push this right from day one. Boris's big mistake was letting her do anything. He should have called it under the Emergency Powers Act uh, and declared it all from a Cobra meeting in Westminster. That would have cut her off at the knees. I loathe that creature. Anyway, I'm going to round off and come up. Now, of course, the SNP will hate this article. They'll hate that news report uh, on the BBC. They'll hate everything about that because it goes against their narrative. They'll probably be out now looking at ways of, of discrediting uh, Professor David Spiegelhalter uh, because he has told them the truth and they really hate the truth. The truth is they screwed up royalty, royally and they actually ended up killing more people with their measures than England did with theirs. And Scotland's mammy pushing higher, faster, harder, stronger ended up worse, ended up performing worse and killing people. Anyway, I shall stop there to round off and we shall uh, finish at this, this one. I've, got, I've still got a load more, but thank you very much for watching. Until next time, stay safe, stay well and never ever listen to anything the SNP tell you. We know it's all lies and half the time those lies are designed to kill people. Bye.